my channel I want to do this update so this is what's been going on so I did a video earlier tonight about Judy and her family and Ju it's Judy's life and um, a situation with her brother-in-law Julian Travis and there were some questions in the in the comments about um, this is not tea this is not a story but they are public figures um, who have a very large platform that are selling products and making money off the public and they have a in, women empowerment movement they also have other people from their family who have appeared on their channel who are making public posts about them which they are asking people to help them get out as well as to share with their audiences so when you have a large platform like this and there is something like this that's going on it's more just sharing the story. Um, I didn't search this out. This actually came to me from subscribers because a lot of Judy's subscribers were deeply upset by this when they found out and they wanted me to cover it. And when I heard that Valerie had made the videos, I decided to cover it and I am doing this in a respectful manner and trying to be as respectful as possible to all parties because I do understand and completely get that this is a complex situation. So um, here is, oh, Sandy says that she's one of the best people she's ever known and she's proud of her for speaking up. Okay. All right, so earlier tonight I shared Valerie's videos where she talked about in detail what Jillian did to her, which was not good. Um, he, is a, he is convicted of RAPE. He actually spent four months in prison. He is accused by, of doing the same thing by his cousin Valerie, as well as his ex-wife Amy. And Amy's also posted publicly on her Instagram that he has done this to their son. There are at least four people that are claiming that he's done something to them. And he spent four months behind bars and he is registered in the state of Washington as an offender. Okay. So Judy and Benji have not said anything publicly about any of this. He suddenly disappeared off their vlogs. And as I was doing my story, Judy showed up into my chat and said, well, some people are saying they think it was Benji. I don't know. It just says it's Judy's life. So it doesn't, if it's Judy or if it's Benji, someone from this channel showed up and said, we do not support him at all. And he does not get any financial help or other financial support from us. We've completely cut ties from him. Now, Amy says that this is not true. Amy actually posted on Instagram, like not even a year ago, that they were still um, supporting him and that they had offered her little to no support. And she has said that they, he was doing some, she made a post about how he was, um, house sitting their house and how he had been doing odd jobs and that was the same claim that valerie made in her video so they say they have cut ties with her him but valerie and amy say that's not true and then um they also said this we have not shared this because this is a matter that we wanted to keep private out of respect for our family however we do not support abusers whatsoever so <clears throat> My question here, and this was a lot of the things that came up with this, with that comment was they've addressed the issue of um, we don't support him, um, but they didn't say like why they didn't support Amy, whatever. But after that stream, I wanted to see if they were being truthful. And I so I went to their Facebook accounts to verify because when you tell stories, if you're being good at your job, you should verify. So I found these on here, which stated, uh, this is from 2018, right when he got out of prison. It's a photo where he tagged um, Judy in it. And then um, there's this photo where he's with his dad. And the this was in 2019. And his dad is very, very, very invested with Judy and Benji. And then um, this was a post from john um we're from t january 8th 2019 where he tagged all of them together 
And then this is a post where Julian has put a heart on a comment that Benji posted on June 5th. And Julian is still friends with Judy and Benji on Facebook. And last year's um, on July 4th in this video that's on her channel, uh, Julian appears off camera. You can hear his voice at 6.05 and at 7.04. So if they have cut ties with him, it would be pretty uh, recent. But Amy and Valerie say that that's not true. So they both also say that um, they have offered them no support very limited support and Valerie says that Judy has never reached out to her at all. So they say they've cut ties. This is what the social media says. I don't know where the truth lies here. Um, we know what is going on. Now it's up to you as the viewer to make your decision about whether or not you can still support them or if it doesn't matter. Either way, my job here was to help them spread their story and to say, you know, if you want to be um, about empowering women, it would be beneficial um, to empower the women in your lives that have things happen to them that are very bad, right? It's also very empowering to cut the people out of our lives that do bad things to women. Again, I'm not trying to cancel Judy. Um, again, they are public figures. Again, they are YouTubers and every single person on YouTube has a right to be criticized or analyzed when they become public figures, including me. All right, you guys. So I would love to know what your thoughts are. Um, I kind of had the feeling that she popped in your stream to hear what you were saying. You're welcome, Shouty. Uh, hey, they are Patriot fans. That explains a lot. Um, yeah, I, I was surprised. So. This is, it's not empowering when women, says Sandy. Um, so here's my thing is that I was shocked that they showed up into my, my stream. This is just my impression, okay? So I've never interacted with them and I didn't expect them to interact with me because I'm not here to like do anything, right? And they have not responded to Valerie or Amy and Amy and Valerie have been posting a lot, like a ton on Instagram and YouTube about them. And they've been deleting comments about anyone asking questions about this. So when I saw the thing about we're, we're respecting our family's privacy, I was actually kind of shocked because I was like, who are you, who are you protecting? Because the women are being loud. They're being really loud. They don't want privacy. The women want everyone to know. So who are you protecting when you're protecting someone's privacy? Are you protecting his privacy? Because his stuff is actually public rec record. So that was my, that's my criticism to that statement. And my other criticism is that if you are protecting his privacy, because the women don't care, they want everyone to know what's happened and they want people they want you guys to respond. So when you aren't responding, you're protecting Julian. And then you say you've cut ties, but then there's evidence that completely contradicts that that's true. So the best thing to do in a situation like this is to end the speculation and to just come out and say it, um, what happened and to put out a PR thing and address it and then be done with it. You know, I feel like, when you're in a situation like this where you have such a public platform, um, you have to be smart about how you, what information you share. And they're not, they are not under any obligation to share anything, but you guys, they're also a family vlogging channel that makes money off their kids, right? What's, what's really private in their lives? They have been on YouTube since 2012 um, basically exploiting every aspect of their lives for eight years. Um, so when something really serious happens that, that isn't fake, then it's protecting privacy. That was my criticism with that. Also, um, my other thing was that they could come into here 
and they could make claims like they could they could defend me when I was using my platform to expand it, right? So Val, Valerie's channel has 2,000 subscribers, but my channel has 125,000 subscribers. So my channel will reach more people than Valerie's channel because she didn't just by sheer number. And so I felt like them coming in had nothing to do with I just found it interesting. Like, why haven't you responded to Valerie or Amy, but you can come into my live stream and then say that you've cut ties? And then why haven't you said anything before this? Why did it take this to make a statement, right? It shouldn't have had to... You shouldn't have had to, like, wait. You should have just... Like, I feel like this call all could have been avoided right? If he would have just addressed it when they all came out publicly. And sometimes when you sit on things and you have women who have been victimized and they're not getting anybody responding, they're not going to stop talking. They're only going to get louder and they're going to get everyone's attention, you know? And you have women here, Valerie and Amy, who feel like they have had no justice for themselves and for their son and for Amy's son. And they he's not in prison and they believe he's still doing these things to people and they have reason to believe that you guys are still helping them and amy has is the mother of his two children so she would know what's going on with him even though he can't see the kids she still is going to have an idea of what's going on in his life so um Yeah, the there you can hear Julian talking in the vlog. Um, no, my this you can find the videos. Um, it's actually in the description box. So um, if you look in the description of this video, Valerie's videos are linked right there. So um, that's where we've got. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm not here to like again drag them. That's really not my thing, but every single person on YouTube is, um, it, when you make the decision to put your life and make it public, this is no different than us analyzing Josh Duggar or uh, Jim Bob Duggar protecting Josh Duggar. It's the same thing. They're just YouTubers that people have fallen in love with, so they don't want anyone to talk about it, right? And that doesn't mean they're without people talking about it especially when there's something like this going on. All right. Um, Valerie's links are in my uh, inbox. Please stop spamming the chat, Sandy. We do, Sandy, please stop spamming the chat. Um, we have the links in the description box to her channel. All right. Amanda said, I definitely get louder. I got a guy who went to high school with me who is so kicked off Facebook twice. So, um, Sandy, we have, I'm going, please stop spamming her name. Um, it's, we have her name listed in the description box. All right. So I know what it's like to not have justice too. So I also know what it's like when you have a bunch of people that have a prominent place and nobody's listening to you and you want to have someone hear you out and they're refusing, sometimes you got to get loud. And so if they're literally concerned that this is what's going to happen and he's still doing this and there's reason to believe that he has done this to multiple people, the odds are he's, he's going to fend again. That's the thing. And they can say they're not attached to him and they have cut ties with him, but their social media doesn't show that. So that's the problem. And I think these are the discrepancies that people are seeing online about them. But it's also curious that they have to come in to me because they're worried that the story is going to spread. And I also thought it was really weird that this channel has so many subscribers and nobody talks about them. Nobody. Nobody, there's not a single critical video about this family on the entire YouTube. That doesn't, that's not feasible. 
every single person has videos that have people that have said critical things about them. Every YouTuber, it happens to every YouTuber. I found that bizarre. So I don't know if they are getting videos taken down. I'm not sure. All right, so that's what I've got for now. So tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.